Well, they've wrapped up successful football careers at the University of Minnesota and in the NFL. And now, brothers Jeff and Nick Toe Arnett are looking for what's next. They recently bought some land outside of Jordan, but it's what they're doing on that land that has everybody talking. Here's Fox 9's Amy Hocker. For nearly 90 years, a barn in Jordan, Minnesota has been the talk of the town. You know, we'd drive by it and we'd always comment on what a neat barn that was. Most people know about it. Its claim to fame, it's big, even for a barn. 140 feet long, which stood on its end, would be about 13 stories tall. So distinct, people can't help but do a double take. That's really the prettiest one I've ever seen, and it's so huge. Then one day, one of those double takes. We just kept driving past it every day. And turned into a taker. Yeah, it's massive in here. Meet Jeff Tao Arnett. For the most part, I mean, it's pretty well preserved. The proud new owner of the talk of the town. The one next door neighbor, the farmer goes, well, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to plant my crops around your barn out in the middle of my field. Jeff and his brother Nick recently bought the big white barn with big plans to give it new life, which is fitting considering Jeff and Nick are in need of a fresh start of their own after exhaustive football careers in college and the pros. With everything happening and um, I realize that there's a lot more to life than just football. Which is exactly what drew them to the big white barn. And then up there you can see 1929 and 1930. And then it has all the calves that were born and then the month that they were born to. Right away, they could see it. There was more to this barn than meets the eye. You'd hear everything from the state shut it down because they were bootlegging out of here to uh, uh, neighbors saying that, you know, their grandma and grandpa used to come up here and they used to have dances up here. Thrilled with their investment, the brothers can't wait to start renovating this barn and turning it into their future home. But there's one catch. You see, this deal didn't come kit and caboodle. The brothers had bought themselves a kit, but their caboodle was clear over there. We found a, a mover online, and their kind of slogan was, if they say it's too big to move it, call us, we'll move it. Meet Matt Tyne. We always like a challenge. He's the guy moving yep. the talk of the town. Yep, Matt and his crew are literally going to drive a 145-ton barn a half a mile across an open field. There's no truck or anything that pushes or pulls the building. It's all controlled by a, a hydrostatic drive motor on the rear of the building, which is controlled by Tim. So it steers it, drives it. Driving a 140-foot barn across a field with a remote control. And they thought there were double takes before. So we were out here in the... The highway was lined with cars on both sides. To see the big barn moving on its own, more or less, was really a once-in-a-lifetime thing to see. The move itself didn't take that long, all told a few hours. Stop there, Tim. We're going to have to cut these, uh, some center walls. Can I let you down a little bit? Can but the crew had to spread it over a few weeks' time while they waited for the ground to freeze. Today it happened to be cold enough. It was a good day to get across the field. The final drop spot set a tense crew inches the barn onto its new foundation. It's got to go to the west a uh, half an inch. Okay, come ahead again uh, six inches. Oh, it looks really close. Oh my God. Let's look at the other end. I think we're there, guys. I think we're right on the money. It's, I think it's perfect. A perfect landing. I guess a couple years ago I never even thought this was possible. But not a perfect ending. No, this story is far from over. Because the folks in Jordan, Minnesota, aren't ready to stop talking about it just yet. I think more people are going to be watching to see it develop. It'll be interesting to see what happens, how, it, how it's fixed up. In Jordan, Amy Hockert, Fox 9. Jeff's brother Nick and his wife are overseas right now. And we'll see the barn when they come home in a few months. In addition to turning the barn into their dream homes, the brothers are also planning a, on a building a public horse stable on their land right there as well. That's a great story. Isn't that cool? That barn has many more stories to tell, too. I think there are a lot of other barns out there that are going to be moved after people see that. Yeah. Boy, yeah, that was incredible. Yeah. Like we said, we wouldn't want to walk underneath. <laughs> it's too scary, but incredible to watch experts, move it. Though.